Hi, everyone. This is my son, Mike. Say hi, Mike. Hi. He is 33 years old and has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, and he wanted to make a video about living with this disease. He asked me to narrate the video because his voice isn't very loud, and you would have a hard time understanding him. So for people who don't know, muscular dystrophy is a group of neuromuscular diseases that cause progressive weakness and loss of muscle mass and is caused by a genetic defect that is passed from one or both parents to a child. There are several different types of MD. Of the most common type, Duchenne muscular dystrophy begins at birth and is the most severe. It usually only affects boys while other types don't begin until adulthood and can affect boys and girls. Most people who have Duchenne will eventually lose the ability to walk and some may have trouble breathing or swallowing as is the case with Mike. About one out of every 3,500 to 5,000 boys is born with MD and there are about 500 plus new cases each year in the United States. Girls in these families have a 50% chance of inheriting and passing the defective gene to their children. So far there is no cure. When Mike was born he seemed just like any other baby but over the first few years, I noticed he was having a hard time doing things most children his age could do, like standing up. When he was three years old, his doctors ran several tests to see what was wrong and eventually diagnosed him with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Over the next few years, Mike was able to walk. But I could see as he got older, it became more and more difficult for him until he was 10 and finally lost his ability to walk because of leg muscles could not support him anymore and from there he was confined to an electric wheelchair. In the years since, Mike has lost most of the use of his body and he needs a machine to help him breathe. He also no, now has a stomach tube to help with eating because the MD also affects his swallowing. But he can also still eat regularly through the mouth. Mike has been admitted to the hospital several times throughout the life due to various operations and respiratory issues caused by the MD, such as pneumonia. The last time, in February 2014, he almost didn't survive, but thanks to the wonderful doctors and nurses he had in Boston, he's with us today, and he also put the, that stomach tube in which saved his life and made him a much, much healthier. Despite everything Mike has been through in his life, he's probably the happiest, most optimistic person I've ever met. Right, Mike? Yeah. He has his bad days, just like everyone else. But it's a rare occurrence, and I've never known him to be depressed ever. He does wish that there was a cure, though. Uh, but until then, he says he'll make the most of his life. Mike says what keeps him going is his friends and his family. Without them, he doesn't think he would be here today. They are the best people in the world. He also likes to get out as much as he like he can to go on long road trips um, in our big Ford van. We've been all over the country from Florida to California to Maine and we've gone on several cruises to Bermuda with a fifth one coming up in September. We also love to go out to the movies almost every week and in the summer we'll go to the occasional cookout. His computer is his other favorite thing. He, he's on Facebook, Twitter and has his own YouTube. He has a big world of Warcraft Play. He is a war big World of Warcraft player. He's been playing for seven years and has several characters. And that's about it. But to raise awareness, where, yeah, to raise awareness for all forms of muscular dystrophy, Mike has come up with a challenge similar to the Ice Bucket Challenge that we nominate everyone to take. It's called the Muscular Dystrophy Shaving Cream Challenge. The challenge is simple. You have to film yourself stepping in a bowl of huge pile of shaving cream and post it on here on YouTube or Facebook. Or instead, donate to the Muscular Dystrophy Association on Mike's Crown Rise page. Then nominate your friends to do the challenge as well. Just be careful when you do the challenge because it can be slippery and we don't want anyone falling. So please subscribe to this channel and take the challenge. It would mean a lot to him. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks, Mike.